Fortune releasing its global 500 list for 2023 this morning, ranking the world's largest companies by revenue. Topping the list for the 10th straight year is Walmart. I, I thought I maybe we got a drum roll or something, but we didn't get one. Uh, sales exceeding $611 billion in 2022. Energy also a big winner. Steep prices at the pump propelling ExxonMobil and Shell back into the top 10, though I wonder what would happen actually in the next year for that. Saudi Ramco nearly dethroned Walmart for the top spot raking in $603 billion. The oil giant, also the most profitable company in the world, setting the all-time record for a Fortune 500 company at $159 billion in annual profits. Profits. Uh, for more, let's bring in Alice Chantel. She's the editor-in-chief of made the, the list of most Fortune profitable? magazine. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Yes, it did. Um, on our Global 500 list, you can have government-run entities, and there are over 100 of them. USPS is one from the U.S., FedEx is also on the list. Uh, UPS is also on the list. Amazon, Walmart, right. lots of shopping happened this year, so they're benefiting. So we were talking during the commercial break before you came on about how this list is put together, which is different than just taking all the public data. Yes, yes. For the Fortune 500, you can take the public data. For the Global 500, a lot of reporting goes into it. It's a long time work of effort. I'm getting reputable information from China companies, for example, is not as easy as getting it from the U.S. companies. So um, there's a scrappy team behind it, but they've been doing it for 34 years of doing this list. And do the companies uh, willingly participate in this? Are they all trying to maneuver uh, to get better numbers, worse numbers? Is, is that happen or is this or is and are there others that just say we're not talking to you? How does this work? The list being in its 34th year owns a lot of cred, and so I think there is a clamoring to get in it. And actually, the hardest work is really vetting on our end to make sure that, like, they. So, what do you do with Chinese end. companies or companies in other countries where it's, it's hard to decipher what's really happening? We roll up our sleeves and report. We do a lot of reporting. And how often do you. Is there, is there any great story that you can tell us about somebody who's lying to you and you have to then call them up and say, hey, we're not doing that number? Uh, there have been companies that have been excluded if we've found discrepancies. So, yes. Excluded completely? Or, yeah, or, yeah, I mean, if we find that the numbers aren't actually the numbers, then we boot them. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. So, but no, but companies that might actually normally be in the list, but because they, they, they didn't play uh, fairly, then you just take them off the list. We have to know the numbers, yes. Yeah, we, we don't put anything on if we're not confident. Um, we were just mentioning that a, a couple of these companies, a number of the oil companies, for example, had huge, uh, huge numbers last year. By the way, we used to have conversations with many, many of these CEOs about, you know, windfall tax profits and the like. This year, that seems to be less likely. So how, how, how much do you think this, this list will ultimately change next year? So I think we're on the brink of a lot of change. I mean, first off, the oil companies crushed. I mean, all of them were up like 40 plus percent in revenue year over year. Saudi Aramco is a total behemoth. I mean, it can pump oil cheaper than anywhere else in the world, $8 a barrel as opposed to $53 a barrel for Exxon. Um, I don't think we're going to see that kind of growth year over year perpetually. I think that was a bit of a one-off. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the thing that's weird, though, is all of these oil companies in the top holdings for revenue, it's a slightly different picture when you look at the profitability, though. And Apple, while it's only the eighth most, uh, eighth biggest in terms of revenue, Jumping all the way up to was it two for mm -hmm. for profitability? Yes. I mean, it just tells you the profitable industries and the ones that have a little more wiggle room. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we rank based on revenue. You could argue it could be based on some other things, but um, Saudi Aramco, 159 billion in profit, yeah. and Apple by comparison just under 100 billion. So you can see the scale of these things. Yeah. When when you think though about the empty calories, this goes to the revenue version versus the profit version. Is there any great outlier? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely, I mean, look, I don't think, like, Amazon historically has been a giant machine um, in that way. But, you know, and if this were ranked by profit, obviously, you would have Saudi Aramco in the top slot solidly. Right. Um, so, yeah.